Welcome to another episode of The Daily Spencer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that. I don't know what I'm doing. <sighs> Just thought I'd try and mix it up a little bit and somewhere it, it all went so wrong. Anyway, today I am playing Bulletstorm. Um, this is sort of a review, which is a first for The Daily Spencer. And I've sort of... I'm not really clear how reviews are going to be handled over the course of the show. I'm still working that out. But I have decided that there's going to be no suspense about it. Up there at the top, at the name of the video, you can see that I called it Bulletstorm is Awesome. And that's because I think Bulletstorm is awesome. And uh, you should play it as soon as possible if you like first-person shooters and you don't mind the bad language. Um, Be careful. Let's see. Uh, I was initially a little bit skeptical about the game, uh, mostly because of the demo. I'm not talking about the uh, duty calls or whatever the name of that uh, little fancy thing was that they put out. I didn't even actually play that. I just watched a, a video of it on YouTube. It seemed easier than downloading whatever seven gigs it, it was. But I did play the actual game demo on the 360 and I felt like the presentation was was over the top for the demo and um, my wife was actually sitting next to me the whole time and she just kept looking up at me and saying uh, this game was written by a 14 year old and I, I was actually inclined to agree it was just a very immature kind of kind of thing there was the swearing was just non-stop I th the game called me dick tits I don't even know what that means but uh, I guess maybe someone had their their boobs removed and replaced with penises and I guess I am that person uh, I don't know it just it put me off a little bit but I, I kept hearing really good things about the game so I decided to check it out and uh, yeah, I'm not going to say the presentation is completely different, but there's some context to it, and Good to see and it's a little bit back. less potty mouth. There's still a lot of swearing going on, but it's not You're every third me, word is the F-bomb or anything like that. Um, and it, it just feels really intelligent and, and the writing is good and the acting is good and the action is good and I really haven't found anything bad about the game yet. Um, it has actually made me laugh out loud on, on several occasions, which is completely rare. I, I kind of expected this to be really cheesy and and just kind of dumb, and it's not. And I'm kind of fawning here, and I'll, I'll get past that. But uh, it's just it's it's very smart, and and it, they deserve a lot of credit for that. Uh, some of the set pieces are really really awesome. Uh, the one that sticks out most in my mind is your own train car. And the train car is zooming away and you're facing the rear. And there's helicopters coming up and we've got a minigun and you have to shoot the helicopters and there's other train cars and they come up and you have to you have to shoot them and get rid of them. And nothing that you haven't done any done in another game, but in the background the whole time, there's this giant mobile vehicle that they call Oh, what was it? I don't. It's like uh, I don't remember what it's called, but it's a giant wheel of death, and it's I don't know, maybe ten stories tall, and it's just a wheel, and it's rolling at you, and you gotta blow up explosives to move it off track. And again, nothing that you haven't done in another game before, except it's a giant freaking wheel, and it's coming at you, and it's so ridiculous, but ah, uh, it just works. Um, and. The thing is, the game knows it's ridiculous, and it doesn't take itself too seriously. There's a lot of humor poked at itself, um, one moment in particular that I just loved. I'm actually going to put that at the end of the video, so, so you've got that to look forward to. Um, but I, I'm just really enjoying it. And uh, there's the skill kill system, and they, they make a big deal about it, and it's cool, but it's not the focus of the game the way I thought it was. I thought uh, it was going to be, what was that game, The Club that came out, and really it was uh, it was a shooter, but there was a rhythm-based element to it, and the score was the goal. And, and that's fun and all, and that's sort of what I expected uh, Bulletstorm to be. I expected the score to be the goal, when in fact the score is there and it's something to shoot for, um, you get experience points sort of off of the score, but it's not the main focus of the goal. There's a uh, the game. There's a story, 
that works. Yeah. There's um, a cool progression leveling kind of thing, and I'm just really enjoying it. Anyway, check it out. Uh, have you tried it? What do you think of it? Let me know in the comments, and I will see you guys tomorrow.